What's up, everyone? Today we are talking about starters, and basically we're calling these ceramic condensers. Uh, here's a whole pile of them here. Every one of these that I've looked through and dug up is an FS-2, which seems to be everything from 15 watts to 20 watts. Um, that's the basic rating. I'm not sure what the FS means. Um, I'm guessing it has something to do with the uh, fuses, how they have F, FF, FS, and fast blow, fast this, that, whatever. But anyways, these are for ballast, and they, they basically kick the ballast on. They, that's what they do. They got a biometallic strip inside them, and that strip is, let's see, it's connected when you first, or actually, no, it's the opposite. I don't know exactly. It gets hot though, and it uh, when it gets warm, it uh, breaks. A, well, it measures OL initially, so it makes the connection. You'll see. I, f I forget. I'll think of it. But I'm it's late and I'm brain dead. But uh, this is uh, part of a video that coincides along with uh, this bug zapper unit over here, and just so happens the transformer is toastered I'll show it at the end uh, if I move the camera now everything will be a disastrous mess and out of focus and it'll make you airplane sick uh, but I'm gonna try to replace it with this and that'll be the next video anyways but when well, enough about me more about you so as you know I got the dim bulb circuit over here hooked up with the isolation transformer and is what I'm gonna do is hook this up and show you guys how these work and then we'll even measure the frequency to see what frequency it is clicking at. Um, and is what that's doing, it starts clicking until the uh, the gases inside is what it does. It uh, heats up the uh, filament actually inside the uh, 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 fluorescent tubes. And once that filament gets hot enough by it get kicking it, um, it'll actually bust this out of the circuit then that's why it won't keep going you hear them clicking all the time that's these that's what these do uh starters uh they're getting rarer and rarer as now we have leds in that but basically is what they do they kick it kick that filament and get it hot keep pumping heat into that filament inside the tube the uh, fluorescent tube and once that gets hot enough it ignites and lights the bulb in fact uh, when it gets cold out you'll see that they have a hard time lighting that's because the temperature is lower and they like to work at a hotter temperature the gas is inside the uh, fluorescent tubes or even at most tubes at how they work like that um, and you, then you'll have the uh, I think they even have a mercury uh, uh, around the filament too that uh, helps it ignite and gives off the color and everything so but anyways yeah uh, I'm gonna kick this on once I plug this in here is what one looks like all you do is it has the four tabs here these little four tabs all right and you just kind of peel them back as you see on this one it has the four tabs and the stem the way these work is they actually go into the socket and you turn and they lock in that way and you pull it, bend the tabs up, it just holds this piece of phenolic, and the piece of phenolic comes out. Now this here, here back to my hand here, from my thumb to back here, that's just the apparatus to hold it. It's got a magnet on it to hold it up in the air for me, to let me plug it in for you guys to show you. But this is it taken apart. This is exactly what's inside of the flashers here or as professionally you call it, a ceramic condenser. So you got your capacitor here. It's measured 6.5 nanofarads. And you have just basically like a, I would call it almost like a, this. it's a just a basic miniature bulb, but it's not a bulb at all. It has a piece of metal. Uh, uh, it's doubled metal metal is what they call it and when it heats up one metal expands faster than the other and that makes that want to bend and when it bends it completes the circuit so it measures OL right now and once you 
get high voltage, well, even house voltage going across it, it uh, starts to heat up, and when it does, it contacts and completes the circuit, which lets it kick into the filament. And but this is what it looks like. My explanations are very terrible. I apologize for that, but I do the best I can. The capacitor, then the bulb, and that's it. And they are combined together. And like I say, the bulbs, if they are a good bulb, they'll read OL. Now, I had one that was uh, shorted, actually, and I got it mixed up with these and was playing around with them. And actually, um, good thing I had it on a dim bulb because it actually sparked across it because it was reading 36 ohms, which means the metal, it probably got fused together at some point when it made the connection, and that's what made it bad. Um, I got it years ago. I got all these years ago somehow. But anyways, let's get this hooked up. I'm going to hook just right on my dim bulb. Now, the dim bulb is in series with this, so basically it's plugged in with a, uh, what is it, a 60-watt bulb, I believe, is in series with these two lines. And I know they're red and black. It's still, don't confuse that. These are AC lines, so positive is negative, negative is positive, you know, back and forth, the way AC works. So we'll move these out of the way for now and this is just a little aluminum can that they see if you can hear it just a little aluminum can uh, them tabs are real flimsy real easily to bend back and forth um, and I'll get this on the metal plate which will hold it it's supposed to hold it how come it held it so good over there uh, let me grab something else a little heavier. That, I think, is too thin. I don't like it. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's going to be fun to get that off of there. That's just a, a inside of a drive, computer drive. That's one of the magnets. There's always two of them on each side. That's what that is. But there's some weight just to hold it down. I'll hook it up, and then you guys can see it. It'll flash, and it'll flash away. Um, I'm going to have to cover my dim bulb because I don't want you guys to mistake that for the flashing because that also flashes too as it's breaking and, and making the circuit. So I'm going to click it on right now. You'll hear a little hum in the back and that is just the dim bulb doing its thing uh, through the transformer. That's the way it works. Let me get this covered quick. I apologize. I didn't think this through as normal. It's through as much as I should have. I always think I'm ready to do and ready to rock and roll, and then there's like five things I missed that I could have well prepared. Okay, contact. Three, two, go. See it? See what's going on there? Let me get you zoomed right in on it. And I'll even uh, make sure that's not... See if I can't get it so you guys can see the whole thing maybe with something darker behind it maybe it would show up a little better for you guys come on you damn thing that whole... yeah there we go see how that works see it just keeps flashing and flashing and that's exactly what it's doing that metal's going dut, 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 dut. and let me back you out oh come on not even in the shot it's so hard to see this and do this and see that and do that. I really admire people that do this for a living because it's so much of a... It, it's just so much more difficult than you'd ever think it would be. Just uh, the simplest thing. I mean, I can't tell you how many videos I've done that then I go and look at the... Look at... Uh, to see how it turned out and it's gone. It just... It didn't record, well, not, it just, yeah, it didn't record it. Um, I hit record and it stopped right after for some reason, and I know others have had that. I'm just going to put it on hertz, so we're going to measure the hertz here, and we'll see how fast. Now, what the hell, why is it reading? Are you kidding me that it's picking that up? It's that sensitive? Okay, I'm going to shut it off, and it'll read 60. Yeah, prove me wrong. I'm a dink, I know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just holding it in my hand just off to the side here. Let me put it there. 
and then do it. That way it's, I think it's picking it up, all that AC noise, I think it's picking it up in the air. Um, usually, um, if it picks up anything, it'll read 60, and that'll be the, actually if I turn this, I'll turn the dim bulb off, but I'll plug in, I'll just hook up the uh, isolation transformer and turn that on again, you'll hear it. And this might pick it up, the 60 hertz. Usually it picks it up because over my head is the bulbs, but no. Nope. Let me flip it on. 458, 400, and now as it gets, as that the two metals get a little warmer or cooler or the bulb gets warmer, you should see it uh, work faster or slower. You should see some difference. Um, I don't know how much I trust that setup to be honest with you I almost want to try a different uh, a different one to show you guys seems a little more consistent now now if I just hook it to these two without hooking that in line with it uh, it'll read 60 Hertz but anyways let me get this shut off well I can't because I want to show you what else is going on here okay now this is going to get squirrely. I'm just going to go handheld because that will be much easier for me. So I apologize for the madness. But so here's this setup right right here. And then here's the isolation transformer over here. There's my watt meter which let me uh Oh, I don't have it plugged in. Let me get it plugged in. And that way when I turn it on, the light comes on. I'm going to rig it one of these times so that the light stays on. Okay, and it should show the wattage. There shouldn't be much, but there should be some. It might be pulsing too much. Oh, there it goes, 50 watts. Again, that's through the bulb. So not much of that's going to be used over here. But the big thing is, see the... I hope the camera can pick that up. See how that bulb is flashing? Now I'll pull the sock off of it see if that makes a difference um, if you guys can see it better or not let's see how that's now obviously that is not uh, you know the 60 Hertz or whatever's going on it's not picking up the 250 Hertz as fast as that's flashing because you it should be hard to see you know that thing's not flashing 250 times a second you know but um, anyways that's just to show you guys kind of what's inside one of these flashers. It just seemed uh, something that would be kind of really interesting here. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys. So, again, uh, as I ask, just be good to each other. Let's be a little kinder, gentler. All right. Have a great day. Appreciate it, guys.